TTRLA, man, we are back with another clip. You know what I mean? Hey, man, say, man, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, and share to my channel. Like, subscribe, and share to my channel, motherfucker. I'm going to give you two seconds. All right, you should be good. This right here is an informative clip. This right here is an accountability upload. I'm, I'm going to start with myself, right? I'm going to start with myself. I hold myself fully accountable for, you know what I'm saying, not holding Krishan accountable, right? Because as as her supporters and as her as her fans, right, we have a insurmountable lot of love for Krishan. You know what I'm saying? And so sometimes I love for Krishan can over we can not look at the bigger picture. And when one person saying something, when two persons saying something, when three persons saying something, and this shit is all seeming you know they all saying the same shit you know it might be the other person however a lot of times when you're dealing with hollywood you can come across a lot of bullshit so i think that in this case we were trying to as fans we were trying to have doubt that krishan really wild out at fucking tamar braxton fucking concert and baby she did our girl krishan was cutting the floor man she was cutting up Krishan was cutting up. Krishan, if you hear this, I'm disappointed in you, sis. I'm fucking disappointed in you, man. I'm disappointed in you because you act this so crazy around such an icon like Tamar Braxton. Now, I don't know the full details. We don't know the full details, but obviously something happened because she put injustice for James in her motherfucking bio, baby. And that means you did something serious you know what i'm saying james needs some type of justice because you got to cut the fuck up and he probably was like bitch i'm about to sue you if you don't get on board with this justice for james shit and tomorrow was like bitch i don't need to be sued i'm just getting my life back in order you know what i'm saying people you know we gotta krishan i i hope that you you take stepping away from social media is gonna be something that it will revamp your mind and, and to be more mature because you gotta do better sweetheart you can't be messing your connections up in Hollywood like this, baby. Now, not to say that this is going to fuck you over in Hollywood, but definitely people are going to have a bad taste in their mouth of you after this with Tamar coming out because she was silent for you for a minute. So I, don't, I hope to God and pray that you can, you know, really take, take in what you read into your son. The Bible scriptures is important. You know what I'm saying? You you don't you shouldn't be just saying it just to say it so people can be like, oh, Krishan has changed. You really need to be taking that in, and you really need to you know just get some counseling, baby girl. Um, I, your team that's around you. I'm a disappointed in a team because they need to be stronger to be able to control you. Because obviously you out of control, sis. What's happening? We gotta do better. I don't want everybody be all online trying to drag Krishan. At the end of the day, Krishan is still young. She's still growing. She still has the opportunity to do better. This situation definitely should be an eye, eye opener because if you continue to carry yourself like this, Krishan, you will never be let into these parties, these industry parties. They will blackball you, girl. You don't want that. You need to be successful out here and you need to change your mind, man. Do better. If you know better, you do better. You know better. So you should be doing Doing better we still rocking behind you we love krishan one more thing krishan 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 come on man we rooting for you out here baltimore slim pg man merlin shit man we, we we rooting for you sis get your shit together we ain't tolerating this shit no more man need that like my circle is this small you know i um don't have to sell tickets for uh, you know, like, oh, I need to sell tickets. Let me do this, that, that, that. This show has been sold out for a month. Um, I didn't have an opening act. I knew. I didn't need an opening act because I knew my sister was coming in the middle of the show. Um, and, you know, when you're in different cities, you invite different people. Um, and Krishan was definitely someone that I invited. Someone that I, I actually, you know, looked at from afar as like a, a younger sister. She's from Baltimore. Um, I knew that she was rowdy, you know, I, I didn't judge her because of that, you know, I felt for her on, on so many occasions and I just felt like, oh, this was somebody I wanted to meet to, you know, possibly take under my wing because, you know, everybody knows that I don't have the best. I don't have the best past. I'm sorry. I have a filter. I washed my face. I look crazy. Okay. Um, you know, and in my journey of being a better person, I wanted people to 
you know, accept me for the new person that I was. And the only way that they could do that is if I was given an opportunity. And so that's really all it was. Um, I didn't call her and be like, oh, come on and perform on my show. Um, I already knew Tony was planning to perform here at this LA show. Um, she had sent me her number a while ago on a DM and I reached out to her. I mean, like I said before, like we all have, you know, Christiana's like a little sister to all of us watching her and then watch her make mistakes. We want to help, we want to help. And this is what this Love and War tour has been about. You know, I have called several girls. That I, didn't, I didn't know Drew Sedora. I didn't know Tiffany Evans. Um, I, I, didn't, I don't know... Um, I don't. I didn't know any of them. Really, the only person that I knew was Nydia, you know. Um, but I wanted this tour to be about, you know, second chances and you know, giving new opportunities. And um, I don't know. Um, I didn't call Krishan to open up for me. Um, but when she was in my dressing room, we do a twerk off portion right and I was like oh it'd be cool if you if the DJ played as a vibe and you came out and did a vibe like the people you know your Baltimore sisters and that's really what I was thinking um everyone else get compensated for coming on my show and opening up for me I try to always do this do the right thing um by people um and there's a contract um we're professional I'm a real touring company um and that wasn't the case. Um, I think that there was a misunderstanding. During the part of the twerk off, um, I am backstage changing clothes. Um, and everybody that's come to a Tay Martian show know that we don't have any violence. No one has ever fought at my concerts. We laugh, we cry, people have passed out, you know due to, you know, being, you know, inebriated or, you know, just excited at being at a concert. But this is a, a, a safe, loving, healing place. And um, I don't know. I have to apologize to my team if my silence have made you all feel like I have not been supportive to you. Um, and I also want to acknowledge Krishan. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for coming. You know, I, I, I didn't want any of this to happen. I actually thought that we, you know, could really be, you know, good friends and have, you know, I could be a big sister, you know, to you.